this video we're going to talk about the pitch and rhythm input. Um, this score was set up from a blank, uh, blank template on the um, quick start menu. Um, I decided to add triangles, xylophone, and just a treble staff just to start out. Um, you'll notice for specific instruments it, or, it or automatically puts in the right clef triangle because it's an unpitched instrument it just gives you a percussion clef and a single line staff um, now to input rhythm let's just talk about that first I need to make sure I have my keypad set up on my computer um, if you're not familiar with the keypad functions um, you go over here to view and then over on the panels thing, some, you might just see a, a box like this. Um, just click on that drop down. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. When the page is condensed like this, you'll see a panels drop down menu. And you're going to want to select your keypad and also your transport. Here, I'll bring this page back up. All right, so the keypad here. You'll notice the way that it's laid out is similar to the keypad on a full-sized um, typing keyboard where you have your numeric zero period enter one two three four five six plus seven eight nine minus um, and then the clear equals slash and then the asterisk all of those correspond to the specific rhythms that I want to select. So 4 equals a quarter note. Now watch, I'm going to hit the number 4 on my keypad and it selects quarter note for me. And my mouse turns blue. If I select 5, that selects half note. Or 6 is a whole note. Or I can just go in and click whichever ones I want. Okay. So I'm just going to start out with a quarter note. Now my mouse appears with uh, a blue and a gray I'll, I'll call it a, I don't want to call it ghost note but it hasn't been put in yet it just shows me where I, when I drag my cursor back and forth where I can place that note okay um, so I'm gonna put a little just a quarter note there on triangle and the other thing I forgot to do is add a time signature so I, I can go over to notations and click time signature or I can just click the letter T and it gives you the little shortcut right next to the name. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put in four four. Keep it simple. So here's my quarter note. Now when I'm inputting pitches um, I can use the up and down arrow and notice how it only makes the sound of the instrument when it's on the line for single staff instruments like triangle if I go below the line it doesn't make that sound so I'm just gonna put it on the sound on the uh, on the line there now I can keep clicking quarter notes if I want to repeat the rhythm that I have here let me change this I want to select a half note for the next measure notice how it snaps to certain positions all right, I can either put it on beat one, beat two, beat three, or beat four. Um, if I put it on beat two, look what happens to beats one and four. It automatically puts the rests in there. All right, or if I want on beat one, it takes that half note away and adds a half note rest at the end. So, all right, I'm gonna hit the escape key at the top left of my keyboard and the note stays highlighted like that. I want to repeat this rhythm throughout, so I'm going to hit R on my keyboard for repeat. All right, that's a really quick quick function there. Now, for pitched instruments, let's say I just want to do a scale warm up for xylophone and I want my first note to be C. Well I can either click 
and put a C in there or I can select the rhythm I want and type in the actual letter name so C D E F G A B C and I'm actually typing those out on the keyboard C D E F G A B C now watch what happens when I drag notes too high if they're out of the range of the instrument the note head turns red so that's sort of a way that you know for not every instrument it's it's it doesn't work all the time um, but it gives you a basic idea of what the range of the instrument is okay I'm gonna leave that there all right so I'm just using the arrows to go through here left right if I want to change notes I can use up down I'll keep it like this that looks pretty cool now let's add something in here for the treble staff now the other cool thing about this is if I want to create chords what I can do is just select the note and then using the top row of numbers on my keyboard all right you can you even have these on laptops because they have one one through zero at the top I can if I hit the number three it adds a pitch a third above my starting pitch that I have selected and if I hit three again it adds a third above that note I mean, I can keep adding thirds, but you know that wouldn't be good. To delete these, I'm just going to click them and hit delete. So, again, just like when I want to repeat certain rhythms, I can select a note and hit R, and that repeats everything to the next measure. Now, I want this one to start on F. F is it's a F major chord in root position so I'm just gonna hit the up and down arrows or I can make it a D minor or E minor whatever keep it F major and just hitting R for repeat throughout so those are the different keyboard functions again I can select my rhythm from here or if I have a numeric keypad on the side of my keyboard I can select that um, and I can use you know the click and drag if I want to drag a note and put them each individually on the staff or I can just type in the letter names on the keyboard just some basic shortcuts for Sibelius 7 pitch and rhythm input